Hello guys, today I want to show you my 8-bit computer. As you can see there, now, here we have 2 times 8-bit inputs and in the middle there is the little switch to add or subtract, like that. Here we have my my 9-bit output, 9-bit, uh, and here the sign. And here's the main computer. And a little cooler on there. Yeah, in the middle you can see eight full adders and one tiny XOR gate on the right side. There we have another eight XOR gates and on top we have eight half adders. These are just for subtraction because oh, if we have an positive number, we just invert all bits and add one, then we have the negative, and this add one does this little green jumper there, yeah, that's it, a little cooler, ah, now it's on, uh, it's, it's cold, so, Let's let's add something. We have the six. Six plus four is ten. We have six plus seven. Seven plus seven is fourteen. So so let's add thirty-two plus 8 <laughs> it's not really interesting 1 plus 1 is plus 2 I'll subtract it 8 minus 0 is 8 8 minus 8 is 0 Um, yeah, um, 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 minus 3 is minus 1, 128 plus 1 is a minus 1, okay, sorry, plus 1, plus 3, plus 7, no, nobody cares about it. So let's add 16, oh sorry, 16 plus, I don't know, plus, plus all, just all numbers. So 8 minus 16 is minus 8, and yeah, that's it. Here are the ugly buses, yeah. it's just a prototype board. It's very big and with nice thin surface, like this big boy there. It's the output logic. Now yeah, it handles it handles the negative numbers and turns it into into positive and vice versa. Uh, normally, I don't use wire bridges because uh, I don't like them. Yeah, but but there and like the street no, and like the streets there between the skyscrapers it's like it's it's easy and cheap normally I take um, zero ohm resistors yeah you, you can't see them mm, you just see the tiny black dots, these are the SMD transistors oh. that's warm, it, need, it needs some cooling oh. it's like this type yeah, the cold air goes through them it's like, like in such a um, Heat sink. Yeah. 
And the first full error I built was was this big boy there. It's very big <laughs> and, and very much transistors. And mm, but it does work. And not as good as these tiny boys down there, but uh, mm, I measured it. If I don't cool it, it gets around. It it gets about fifty degrees. Uh, stop it. Turn it off. Yeah, that's. Mm first first wait a second these two are uh, our first half adders this one was the second after this big one then came this one very big about three times bigger if I put it there It's just ugly, but I don't I don't throw it away because <laughs> mm, I don't know why. I just like it. Big, ugly, doesn't even work correctly because I had a big problem with logic gates. Then I solved it, and the and the result was tiny fast and and correct that's that's the most important thing that it work correct yeah, correctly so that's it next video I will make about about my RAM modules I think about mm, 18 byte RAM and some and a bigger room but just for decoding and and the basic calculation programs yeah. well, let's add something I'd love it 20 minus I don't know 8 12 plus 12 oh, he's he's always correct he doesn't make mistakes so it's cool to learn binary and convert it into decimal and vice versa oh. so the a input is now mm, 255 and just add one it goes to 265 it's as cool as one bit makes such a big difference okay let's let's move them back yeah it's writing it's driving like through New York, but oh no, I can't go through there because my camera is too big. So that's it for now. If you put your hand there, it's really nice warm. So, yeah, see you, see you in the next videos, ciao.